Well, a treasure hunt is back on in San Francisco as amateur sleuths are again legally digging through the city parks looking for something buried 40 years ago. We are talking about The Secret. That's a book written back in 1982 by author Byron Price. With a set of mysterious poems and illustrations, Price laid out the clues for finding 12 jewels buried in 12 cities around the country. Only three of them have been found, and the one hidden somewhere in San Francisco had a lot of people looking until the pandemic. The city stopped issuing dig permits in 2020. <laughs> Two years later, it may have more treasure hunters than it can handle. KPX 5's Wilson Walker picks up the hunt in San Francisco. And my first dig date was first week of June 2020. I was like, oh my God, I gotta wait six, seven months. When Darren uh, but, Hicks you know. applied for a permit to dig up a San Francisco city park, he had no idea he'd end up waiting two and a half years, but his wait is over and he's finally probing away. Could be up to uh, about three feet down, possibly. I was hoping it'd be about a half of that. <laughs> The spot he has landed on, Portsmouth Square, known as the heart of Chinatown. Now, not to get too deep into his solution, it's largely based on some historic context of the park and several very specific visual cues in the illustration. And then, uh, lo and behold, I turn to the left, and this looks just like her nose. So for me, it's pretty much the only logical place to, to dig. So the digging begins under the watchful eye of a park ranger. Darren, of course, is doing this the right way while some others are not. What you might call guerrilla hunters have descended on several locations around the city, occasionally ripping through irrigation lines with illegal digging. Well, I just want to scoop off the top layer and uh, we see what's underneath. Make sure I don't hit no lines. As for getting a permit like Darren was good enough to do, a lot of treasure hunters finding that to be a quest of its own. So to pull back the curtain a little bit, remove some of the mystery here, we had to talk to SF Rec and Parks and someone who would rather keep their identity a secret. The other day I got an inquiry all in French and I don't speak French, so I had to use translate online. The unofficial job of Park Treasure Czar has passed through several hands over the years and given the enthusiasm of some treasure searchers, they have found the best practice is to have a generic treasure email. Right now we're backlogged through the end of 2022. All the requests are processed in the order they are received, but the biggest constraint is manpower. The city can only staff two digs per week. Once people understand that it's not just, you know, two folks, but rather, you know, like hundreds of people across the country and perhaps the world looking to find this, then they understand a little bit better that um, that they need to be patient. Man, it's a solid. We're not going to break through it. Back at Portsmouth Square, two and a half years of patience not paying off as hoped. If, if this is the resting spot, it's, it's rested here too long. <laughs> this dig will end like every one before. A lot of sweat, a hole in the ground that needs to be patched up, and a sense that something hidden for 40 years may just be inches away or somewhere else entirely. At this point, it looks like I won't know. None of us will. We have now spent years watching people from all over come dig in all sorts of places based on all kinds of interpretations of the clues and even those who had ground penetrating radar didn't come up with anything. So Darren joined some fine company and the offer still stands. You come up with a permit, we will try to come watch you dig. And if you don't have one yet, the wait list now about 80. So you two will have to be patient. We are here in San Francisco, Wilson Walker, KPIX 5.